I was uh, training training years ago in uh, Seattle, up near Seattle, Bellingham, Washington, uh, up near a friend of mine's house. Well, it was in his house. They set up a training center and did some trainings themselves based on uh, what they had learned over their lifetime and what some of the stuff that I taught them and some of the stuff my mentor Martin taught them. And I think uh, Kathy's still training. But uh, in the interview process, there was a, a woman, and we had talked. Uh, I can't remember exactly how I knew her, uh, but she had hung around with the kids and liked the kids and was on a trampoline with the kids, and I knew she did martial arts and uh, believed in past lives and things like that. And uh, When she got in the interview process, uh, a lot of times in the interview process, stuff just comes up. I mean, that's the whole thing. We kind of shine a bright light figuratively on you and and ask that there be no judgment or criticism and uh, give feedback and sometimes uh, a lot of emotion comes up and uh, some emotion was coming up for her and then her mind attached it to something and it was quite fascinating I'm always fascinated what the mind that little voice inside your head will attach things to and uh, she said uh, she was crying she said my father raped me when I was in the crib now, I was fascinated because, I don't know about you, but I don't remember anything from when I was the crib. Nothing. Nothing. I don't remember getting my diapers changed. I don't remember pooping my diapers. I don't remember much of it. And so I was curious. I said, well, how do you know that your father raped you while you were in the crib? <laughs> you know? And she said, well, I went to a, a transgression, a, a, a psychologist who did like would transgress you hypnotically take you back in time and have you and, and reveal these really horrible memories of things that you don't remember but now you remember because you were hypnotically back in a trance and I'm looking thinking oh man I, I, I said okay okay I said so this psychologist took you back to your uh, crib she said yeah and I said well how do you know that the psychologist hit this lifetime she was crying and stuff, but it stopped her. She said, well, I said, well, I said, if you're crossing timelines, which are kind of illusional anyway, how do you know that she hit this lifetime? How do you know it wasn't another father in another lifetime? Well, it's one of the first times I've ever seen anybody vomit in front of the room. She just grabbed a bucket that happened to be near, I don't know why, and uh, started vomiting into the bucket. Uh, she had been uh, torturing her father for a couple of years because she went to somebody who did a uh, therapy and told her that she had memories that she didn't know anything about. And just pointed out there are more options to what you believe in life. Uh, I'm not sure how it works, as I've said before, but I'd be careful about what you interpret. Life is an interpretive event, and sometimes just looking to see how it is is a lot more fun than trying to figure it out. www.micpeakperformance.com